So, um, but he, let's say he wins the. He, there hasn't been a center win the uh, scoring uh, title since Shaq mm-hmm. uh, twenty two years ago. Yep. Um, so the fact that Embiid is up there is remarkable. Now, I don't think he's going to win it because when James Harden comes in, Embiid's usage I expect will See, come I'll, down. I'm gonna disagree. Bit. I'm gonna disagree with that. I'm gonna okay. disagree with that. I don't think that's the reason why Embiid might not win. I think. I was looking no, at this. No, I mean, yesterday. not the scoring title is what I mean. Oh, you mean the scoring title. I think you mean yes. MVP. I'm sorry. No, but I, well, what I was saying is I think if Harden comes in and and the and the Sixers elevate as a team, that will improve Embiid's even further strength. Right? So I think Embiid, it's easy to say you're picking the leader, but I think Embiid's upward mobility because of Harden's arrival, of course, he has to stay healthy. Um, I think not only is he in the lead, but he's got the best upward mobility. How, how much do you think the scoring title matters to Embiid? Hmm. What do you think, Bontes? If it matters a lot, I think he's, you know. I suspect, I, it, I suspect it matters to the big I do. I do, too. I suspect I, it matters. I think they might try to find a way to, you know. Make sure he has opportunities to the, the big fellow is going to continue to get his position. touches and he's going to continue to eat. I think that's safe to I think that's safe to say uh, in the Sixers offense, even with James Harden there, he's going to make sure he gets the ball. Now, what I thought you were going to say was I thought James Harden coming in might hurt his chances to win MVP. I think no. I think Joel is in strong shape from a narrative perspective because the race was close last year. And if it's a dead heat again, I think people will tend to probably go towards Embiid to even things out. I would think if you're going, if you're going, and I'm not saying it's going to like overwhelmingly be in the back, be in people's minds, but I, I do think given how close it was last year and how close it is this year, I think that will tip in Embiid's favor a little bit. I think the fact that Embiid carried the Sixers the way he did through all the Ben Simmons stuff. I know the Nuggets have had a ton of injuries, but that's as someone who covered that Simmons stuff. That was a wild story that had the chance to derail that team. And the way Embiid played, he carried them through it. I think that's going to help him a lot. And like you said, Brian, they have a chance to really get on a run here with Harden coming in. And if they win a bunch of games, that's only going to strengthen his candidacy. But I think the thing that could derail him, and I think it really will end up making or breaking whether he wins it or not, assuming health for everybody, not to get into the argument we had last year, is I want to read off their schedule, the Sixers' schedule, in March. They play the Knicks at home. And then they play the following games home for Cleveland at Miami on a back to back home for Chicago home for Brooklyn, which, by the way, will be a crazy game. If Ben Simmons <laughs> plays like he says, I hope he does yesterday uh, at Orlando, which is a gimme, then home for Denver at Cleveland, home for Dallas, home for Toronto, home for Miami, Lakers, Clippers on the road, then Suns on the road and Bucks at home. That is a crazy month of. March. And if they go five and nine or so, and that's, I don't know how many games exactly that is, but if they, if they lose a bunch of those games, especially because a lot of them are on national TV, and if they struggle with Harden, I think that could really impact Joel's candidacy. On the other hand, if they go nine and five and he has a bunch of huge games in these high profile matchups on national TV, it might be the thing that pushes him over the line. So I think that that month of March schedule with all those marquee games and all those big time opponents, I think that's probably going to determine this one way or the other. Because he's either going to play great, they're going to win, or they're going to, you know, have issues with Harden, lose some games, and it's going to hurt his candidacy a little bit. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube for live streaming sports and premium content. Subscribe to ESPN Plus.